Hello and welcome. Introduction. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect or interface a common cathode 7 segment display to the 8 mega 328 microcontroller. And we will write, or I will write a, pro, a C program to get the display to count from 0 to F hexa. The common cathode 7 segment display. Let me briefly discuss the construction of a common cathode 7, seg 7 segment display. Now, if you have no prior knowledge of this and you would like to uh, know a bit more about the uh, 7 segment display, I would encourage you to go watch my previous video. That is video 24 at SIM 51 7 segment display. Now, here is a kind of block diagram of a uh, seven segment display. Now, all the pins uh, of the seven segment is uh, at the top and at the bottom. Uh, and here we have the segment and we have now each segment that you see here is actually an LED. All right. Now, uh, there are basically two types of uh, seven segment display. One is the common anode and the common cathode. Now we'll be focusing on the common cathode in this particular video. Now here's the common cathode uh, display here. Uh, and the reason for the term common cathode, as you've noticed, all the cathodes of the segment or LEDs are connected together, hence a common cathode. Now, to light up or activate each segment, all we need to do is to supply a logic one to the anode of each of the segment or LEDs. Now, to form the character or the symbol uh, numeric one, uh, we need to light up uh, segment B and segment C. So if you go over to this side here, so all we need to do is to have one at segment B, at the anode of segment B, and a logic one at the anode of the segment C. Now, usually all these inputs or the anode, they are connected to a uh, output of a microcontroller, and hence you will have uh, you will need eight bits, including that eight bits include the uh, decimal point, the DP. But in our example, we won't be using the DP uh, segment. So you have eight bits. So for this uh, symbol one. We will have zero one one zero 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 zero, and the hex value would be zero six. Now, if you want the symbol uh, nine, numeric nine, the only segment that you need to switch off is segment E, and obviously uh, DP because we're not using DP as mentioned earlier. So the binary value would be one, 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 one. That will be F. And then zero, one, one, zero. That will be six. So the hex value for this uh, symbol will be six F. Now, if you want uh, a character or a symbol A, uppercase A, the only segment that we need to leave off is segment D. So segment D here will be zero, the rest all ones, and also DP would be zero. As I mentioned earlier, we're not using DP in our example. So the, the binary value would be one, 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 zero, one, 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 zero. That will be hex uh, 77. Now I've worked out 
for all the symbols uh, from 0 to 9 here and the hex values and the binary values uh, so you can use this later on if you want to experiment with it and also the characters a to f remember we are considering the hex value so and these are the uh, hex values on this side of the uh, of the table and these are the binary values we need dp is always left connected to zero because we are not using it hardware now for this video that you will need some hardware to uh, to test out the code so here is the schematic here is the arduino uno and i'm making full use of the uh port d of the edmega 328 now on the arduino uno uh board that would be gpio 0 to gpio 7 all right so here is the uh, schematic or the circuit diagram so this is a common cathode uh, seven segment display and here is the wiring diagram uh, for the uh, hardware so here is the seven segment with the uh, resistor these are 220 ohm resistors Okay, it's time to take a look at the code. And here is the code. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, so we have here the in to include directive. This one here. This, by the way, this one uh, include uh, abr slash io dot h. Uh, this is by default. It's uh, generated the moment you start a new uh, project or solution. And then this second directive. Uh, is needed because we are going to use this uh, delay function here and then the define directive basically this one here uh, determine or define the speed of the pro the uh, microcontroller in this case is 16 megahertz now in the main function uh, the first line here is the data direction register uh, for port D. Uh, it's assigned FF because we are using it as an output uh, port D as the output port. And then here I define a variable called index. Uh, I'll come back to this in a minute. And then here I define the array. If you look at the elements of the array, you will see these are the code hex code for the symbols uh, from zero to f hexa all right so if you just uh if you want to check it out uh, just check this uh bunch of uh, hex code here with the table that i generated earlier all right so then then we have this while brackets uh one that basically what i'm saying is this Group of code here will be repeated forever. So this is an endless loop. Now within the while loop, I have a for loop. Basically, um, I'm using the for loop to access each element of the array. All right, so there are 16. And the uh, once the code is accessed, is then sent to port D to be displayed on the seven segment uh display and here is the delay function a quick word on the delay function um i i, I think i failed to mention this in my previous video which i used it so basically it's underscore delay underscore milliseconds bracket and this is where uh you put in a parameter the value that, that you want so this is in this case is 1000 milliseconds and basically that's it so this here will then call each of the symbol display it to the seven segment of port d until it finishes 
and then it will repeat itself. All right. Okay, so we are in the Admel Studio 7 and I've uploaded the code. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use the single step function and just go through this program with you. Uh, before I do that, I need I would like to comment this out. Um, for some reason, if I were to leave this in, it somehow interfere with the debugging, uh, and I need to in, well maybe investigate why that is so. But anyway, so the best thing is to I thought is to uh, comment it out. So basically, this is the delay function. All right. Now let's go to the top here. So these first three in uh, directive, they include the two include directives here and the defined directive, which we have done covered earlier. So I'm going to leave that now. And here from this point onwards is the uh, C main function. All right, then and um, let me just uh, save this and then build it again. Okay, so we have one succeeded. So now we're good for, so let's go to uh, debug. Start debugging and break. And you see this arrow, yellow arrow pointing here. So we're good to go. And before we do that, let me just call up the uh, uh, port D registers. All right, so these are the relevant uh, registers uh, attached to port D. So, all right, so let's, I'm going to use function 11, F11, to do or uh, step into function to, to debug or to single step. All right, so, so DDRD, that is data direction register for port D. So we're going to assign FF hexa to uh, DDRD that was set it up, uh, that was set port D as an output port. So we should watch this port, uh, port D here. Right, so we, uh, we've done that. So, so sorry, DDRD here. So I pointed to the wrong one earlier. So this, was, this is DDRD. Right, now uh, we initialize the array. Okay, so the array uh, uh, symbol is been uh, uh, initialized with all the relevant uh, hex code to be displayed. So in the now the uh, the debugger has gone into the while loop. So the f and uh, here is ready. Uh, point the ye the yellow arrow is pointing to the for loop. So the for loop will then go through the array, fetching each element out and display it on port D, which is this one here. So the first one would be uh, 3F. All right, starting off with 3F because it says index equals zero. So let's see. Yes. Now it's going to display, yep, yeah, 3F. Uh, so though that, that will appear on port D and the seventh segment should display uh, symbol zero. All right, so we go through that. It's going through the all the uh, uh, symbols. All right. Except seven and then three nine F E five E. All right, so I think uh, uh, I think this 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 is the last one I think, and then it will reset itself, and it will go go through three F again, which is zero, and the whole thing starts repeating itself. Okay, so uh, for this part of the demonstration, we're going to try and upload the code to the Arduino Uno. So um, just be on the safe side. We go to build.
clean the solution and then rebuild the solution and uh, there's no problem it succeeded then we go to tools and then we upload the code so watch this part here taking this time this this time and we're getting this error so I like to explain the error I switch over to my PowerPoint presentation to explain what's going on so um, so we're getting this error and I've uh, extracted the error out here all right so this is caused by uh, as I discovered by these two pins here the TX and RX uh, pin on the Arduino Uno board now TX and RX are basically GPIO uh, 0 and GPIO 1 which is digital input output pins uh, of the uh, 8 mega 328 but for some reason um, this seem to be interfering with the uh, with the uh, uploading of the code so to get around the the problem what I did was I removed this uh, connection all right right just removed it and then I go to the uh, Atmel studio and stop stop the uh, uploading once that stop I re-upload it without doing much re-upload it let it 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 will succeed this time so once it's done successfully uploaded the code I then reconnect I reconnect this uh, wire to back to the RX input and uh, we're then good to go okay so i've re uh upload the code and reconnect the uh the wire back to the rx pin and it, as you can see uh the display is counting let me just do a, a reset let's start from zero so one two three four five six seven eight nine a b c d e f and zero one two and so it's uh starting all over again so we've come to an end uh, to this video thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.